often do you get angry in a day? How often do you get annoyed by the slightest thing? What is it within self that causes you to react? Is it truly the other person that didn't fold the washing properly? Is it the other person that took too long to go out to the car? What is it within us that we have such a disdain at times for the people around us that we supposedly love? And yet, when you are by yourself and it's in the moments that you feel the quiet within you and you allow a gentleness to come to the fore, that is the moment that you start being you. It is how we touch the moment. It is how we breathe into the next moment. It is how we step into the next moment that counts. And it must be a place of gentleness. Because in gentleness, it speaks from the inner self. It doesn't mean that you can't be fair but firm. But you can have a gentle firmness. When was the last time you were gentle on self? When was the last time that you gently touched your body? When was the last time you became aware that you have a body that is a miracle? Or are you just constantly striving and lost in the next moment? When was the last time that you recognized that your hands are the most incredible things that have ever been designed? They move, they feel, they see, they bring to life the internal expression of self by what you create in this world. How do you touch life? Is it with force or is it with gentleness? Do you touch life in a restrictive state with maybe a couple of fingers? I'll just try and I won't. But do you touch life instead with your whole hand? And touching life with your whole hand is an expression of self. If I can touch life with a gentleness, knowing that at some point if I put my hand out, 
I may get hurt, but I still do it. I still touch with gentleness because I understand the depth of who I am comes out in everything that I touch, in everything that I see, potentially, everything that I feel. There's a reason that we use different parts of our hand for different things. And even the movement of the hand. The movement of the hand can instill fear. Or it can be a caress. How do you touch life? When was the last time that you actually touched this body of miracles and expressed your gratitude? This thing that carries you everywhere This beautiful creation that was given to you as a gift in this lifetime. It carries you. Yet so many of us don't honour it. Because we think we have another day. I'll do it when. I remember when I was working with a lady and she'd had damaged her hand. It was a left hand and she came to see me. And just in talking with her, she explained to me what had happened to her. But she always sat with one hand over the other. And she'd been talking for a while and I said, you do realise that you don't like your hand, right? And she said, what are you talking about? I said, you're hiding your hand from the world. You don't want that hand to be a part of you because it is failing you in a sense. Every time that you hide your hand, every time that you cover it. You are telling yourself that you are not good enough. You are telling part of yourself, part of the beauty of who you are, that it's not wanted. She wasn't even aware that she was doing it. She didn't want people to see that she had an issue with her hand. And so part of her homework, I said, you need to give your hand a pamper day. Don't worry about your right hand. You're going to give your left hand a pamper day. So you're going to do the nails, you're going to do whatever, you're going to smoke it. Don't worry about the right one, we'll do the left one. And I remember this lady, she had issues holding things, she had numbness, she had discoveration on her hand. And the next time that I saw her was probably about two or three weeks later. And her hand had probably like 80% improvement. And then she said to me, I realised at some point that I had to do the same thing for my other hand. It was as soon as she started to give thanks to the hand 
and literally, in a sense, integrating it back into the whole is that her body started to heal. As soon as you push away part of who you are, as soon as you speak to yourself words that will only hurt, you will damage self. And so many people say, oh, but we're not the body. We're not the body. We're beyond that. Unfortunately, this is the body that is allowing you to have this experience in this life. And so it's important to go on this journey in life with a body that you respect, that you honour, and that you touch. When was the last time you felt what your body feels like? And with that comes a knowing and understanding of who you are. <laughs> 